Hey everybody, it's teacher Amy and I am here to tell you about a really exciting new feature of my Mac that I just discovered. I can't take credit for this. It was mentioned in the Camtrust group and Megan Locke did help me set it up, but it is so exciting. For those of you who are Camtrust users who also use Google Slides, which I know is many of you, um, we've always had this dilemma about the size of our browser windows because they need to be the same size so that they don't mess up your PIP settings. But what if you just want to, you know, surf the web and you don't want to have your your window be this big. If you resize it, then it's going to mess all of your settings up. So how do we deal with this, right? Well, the answer has been on my computer the whole time and I just didn't know about it. It's called mission control. And basically what it is, is just like on your phone where you have your main screen and then you can swipe to the side and then there are more programs over here. You can swipe again. Um, you've probably got a couple of these screens set up on your own phone yourself. There is the same thing available on your Mac. So I'm on a MacBook Pro, but this is also available on the iMacs. So I access the settings for mission control by going to system preferences and it's right up here. Um, it has these like little icon window things on it. Um, when you open it up, these are just the settings that I have here. I've unchecked these three boxes here and left the top one checked. This is not super important, but it's just how I have it set up. Down here are your keyboard shortcuts. You can access mission control with the touch of a button, but on the laptop, the really quick and easy way to do it is to, because I have the trackpad, I use three fingers and I swipe up and it's gonna bring me to a screen that looks like this. Now this shows me all of the windows that I have open without any overlap. So I've got my lesson prop slides over here. I've got my reward slides over here. I've got my planner down here and my cam twist window. So if I was teaching, I would also have the portal or the app open. So this is basically like my VIP kid central. This is where I go when I teach. I have set it up as desktop one. I also went over here, hit the little plus button and now I have two over here. I'm going to close this because I'm going to show you something about that in a minute. Now, you can't see me anymore because I don't have Cam Twist open on this particular desktop. But this is where I would go to do pretty much anything else that I want to do on the Internet. And I don't have to worry about my PIP settings because everything I need to teach is right here. And I can just leave it all here, whoosh, go over to the other side and business in the other desktop. So I think that this is kind of life changing because we don't have to worry about those windows anymore. So what I would do is I would just close out the props and the rewards for the day. I would leave the blanks up and then I would just whoosh right over to the other side and then get on whatever else I want to work on. The only little trick to this is if I am over on the second desktop and I want to open Safari because I already have Safari open to the planner on my other desktop view, if I try to open this now, it's going to bring me back to where I already have it. So the way to get around this is to go back to the second desktop. Instead of double clicking on it, you're going to finger click on it. It's the same on the mouse as it is on the keypad. I'm not 100 I mean, on the track, I'm not 100 percent sure because I don't use a mouse, but you're just going to hit new window and then it will open up on the window, the desktop you are currently on. So. I hope that this is going to help you guys out. I think it's pretty awesome. I hope it's going to save you time and energy. You can just take this desktop, just leave it where it is, come back to it again when you need to teach again. Thank you for watching, everybody, and let me know if you have questions about this. Again, I'm no expert. I just found out about this a couple days ago, but I hope that this is going to help you uh, be a better teacher and uh, use your time more wisely. So thank you for watching and happy teaching.